Just a few days back, I had made a video on Genie, which is proposed to be the first AI software engineer that builds and deploys apps end to end. Something Cognition Labs promised with Devin, an AI software engineer that falsely stated and lied to everyone that Devin can fulfill side jobs on Upwork. Now, it's great that we have gotten Genie, which does a better job than Devin. However, the stats do look doubtful, and in my opinion, Devin and Genie just isn't widely accessible to anyone to use yet, which is a big problem. There is no way for us to actually harness the product's ability as both require you to fill out a waitlist form to basically be selected to use their product. But guess what? I have a solution to this, and this is where I would like to introduce an open source AI software engineer that's called Devon. An AI pair programmer that creates software for you autonomously. This is a completely free framework that lets you develop end-to-end -end apps on your desktop locally for free, and it gives you the ability to extend forward on this framework. Now, I had previously made a video on Devon before, and it had no UI back then to build these apps. But now, you have a really nice UI that enables you to chat with your generation similar to how artifacts work in Anthropic's chat models. Just take a look at this video demo, which is demonstrating reinforcement learning within Devon. The prompt is basically given to Devon, which is to make a simple snake environment and an AI agent that operates in it. From there, you can see that you add the dependencies such as Pygame as well as PyTorch, and this will basically start providing the code to you as you generate it. And from there, you can train the AI agent to start playing the snake game, and as it learns, it's going to basically make sure that it learns from its mistakes and it'll get better and better in the game. So the prompt was to just simply make this snake game environment so that the AI agent can learn and operate within that environment to excel. And you can see how it's able to clearly develop an AI agent with reinforcement learning within a couple of prompts. This is the power that Devon harnesses. It's open source and anyone can get started with it. And it's going to be something that I'm going to be showcasing how you can actually deploy locally on your computer. In regards to the features of Devon, you have the ability for multi-file editing, which is something that many coding-based frameworks don't actually have. You have the ability to interact with your full code base, config writing, test writing, bug fixes, which is really good for debugging. You have architecture exploration. You have local model support. And in terms of the limitations, it's minimal functionality for non-Python languages. Sometimes have to specify the file you would like to change to happen. And for the local mode, it's not good at the moment. So they basically state, try your best not to utilize it. But in my opinion, it is decent and you should have a good time running with it. Now, just a heads up, this is only available for Mac OS and Linux. If you try to install the new UI with Windows, it's not going to work. But I'm going to be showcasing how you can do it, even though I'm on a Windows. I'll showcase each step-by-step -step process. But you can also run this agent through your terminal, which is something that you can do quite easily. Now let's showcase how you can actually install this locally. But before we get to that, let's install the prerequisites. You need to make sure that you have Python, node.js installed, make sure that you have the npm command installed, pipx, and you need to make sure that you have git installed, which is an app that we're going to be utilizing to clone this repository onto our desktop. You need to also make sure that you have Visual Studio Code as your IDE to configure certain files such as the .n to input API keys. So once you have all these prerequisites fulfilled, we can then proceed forward with the installation. What you want to do first is go over to the GitHub repository, which I'll leave a link to, as well as all these other links that I showcase in today's video in the description below. So once you are on the GitHub repository, click on this green button and click on the copy button of the link. Once you have done that, scroll down to the prerequisite page. And what you're going to need to do is open up command prompt. So now once you are in your command prompt, just simply type in git clone and paste the link in and click enter. This is gonna start cloning this repository onto our desktop. Next, what you're gonna do is go over to your command prompt and simply go into the Devon file. That's by going, by typing in cd devon. And once you have done that, we can then start inputting our API keys. Now, one thing I wanna note is that you can also run this with Olama, which is really easy to do. So they showcase how you can run it if you scroll down. You can run it with a local model by simply just starting the local Olama server and you can install it with whatever model that you would want. So in this case, you can do it with Deep Sea Coder or whatever preference of a local model that you have. Once you have opened up Devon on VS Code, 
what you can do is click on terminal create a new terminal and what we're going to be doing is setting the api key and in this case if you're on windows you would want to keep it as set anthropic api key equals your api key and if you're on mac os or linux you can just simply use the expert command so i'm going to quickly do this set my api key within the terminal in vs code and then proceed forward so now that we have set our api key go back into your command prompt and let's start installing the back end that's why simply copying this pip install dev and agent command obviously if you're on mac os or linux use the pipx command and this will basically start installing the dependencies now this will take a couple seconds once it finishes doing this so we can then start running the main ui with the mpx devon ui command now you can just simply use this command in your command prompt and you're going to be able to start it up so within a couple seconds it will start up into our local host it's going to need to install the following packages so you can just simply click on proceeding by typing in y and once it finishes installing the packages you're going to be able to load this up onto your local host this will initialize the agent to start up and we can see that it's going to then ask us for what we want devon to generate so this will take a couple seconds actually and once this is done i'm going to basically ask it to generate a pie game or just this basic snake game so i'll basically type it create me a snake basic snake game create So this is what I told it to create. Create me a basic snake game, create the code, save it to my desktop as a TSD file and click enter. Now what it's going to do is it's going to start generating different sorts of task lists and it's going to assign different agents to fulfill those tasks. So we can see once it finishes this basic code, it's going to start on finding a solution to create this game. And there we go. It has created the snake game for me and it basically generated it into a TXD file. So what we're going to do now is copy this and go into VS Code to see if it's functional. I've already pasted it in and I saved the Pi game file locally on my desktop. And I'm going to click on the play button over here. And we can see that we have a functional game now. So there we go. We were able to generate this game with Devon. And this was something that I was able to do within a couple seconds. This is a fully functional game that you can play on your desktop. And this is just something that was really cool. Now I suck at this game. But let's see if I can get this cube over here. Alright, I just suck. But we can see that it works, and you can see that it shows that I lost because I went out of the border. And if you want to start this again, we can just simply click C, or we can close this game by just dying and then pressing Q to close it. The great thing about this project is that the developers have been continuously working on releasing more updates, and as the months have passed, they have been able to release a lot of new features such as that new UI. There's multimodal support with these large language models. They're basically working on launching plugin systems for tools and agent builders. They're improving their self-hosted Electron app. And you're also going to be able to see state-of-the-art results on the Sway Bench Lite. Now, these, these are certain milestones that they have been reached. Uh, for example, they have a file and code referencing feature that was just launched on June 28th. Currently, they're developing many of these cool new features such as improving the context gathering and the code indexing abilities where they add in memory for the modules, improve code indexing, they have added alternative models as well as agents to reduce the user cost and reduce the user latency. They're going to also improve the Electron app, which is the UI that's being hosted on. They're going to be focusing on saving and loading projects over reviews for agent context and there are many other features now if you're interested in contributing definitely take a look at the discord which i will leave a link to the github repository so that you can access all of these other features on the top but that's basically it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it and you got some sort of value out of it i'll leave all the links that i use in today's video in the description below make sure you take a look at the patreon page so that you can access different descriptions for free make sure you follow me on twitter a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys really shortly peace out fellas